peace, love, and light. Welcome to Tommy Bikes Homestead. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I'm supposed to be working, y'all, but they had too many people in the Zoom, so all the subs had to come out of it. So I said, well, time for me to get my walk on. So I'm out here at Riverfront Park, um, and I'm about to walk and talk and see how y'all doing. I'm back in Columbia. I enjoyed my trip, my short, short trip to North Carolina, and I can't wait to go back. I just love it there, honestly. So I can't wait. Hopefully we get to move there next year. So I'll see you in a minute. Tommy Tommy Bites. You want to walk down there? That's fine. Case on. I'll take the steps. Woo. So I hope everybody is, oh, this woman is um, keeping safe. I would not let my kid get in that water. It's moving way too fast. We have mandatory mask here in uh, Columbia, South Carolina. But I promise you, I still go in the stores and when, when I do go in the stores, I don't see um, a lot of people wearing them. I see more people wearing them now, but it's still some people out there that for whatever reason don't. Now, you know, walking back here, sometimes you do see the snakes. So I just wanted to check in and see how y'all were doing. I am trying to get a little more healthy, uh, well, a lot more healthy and get some of this weight off. I'm tired of being out of breath. I'm tired of feeling groggy. And I noticed that with, I started on Monday the 13th doing Dr. Guntry, um, I don't want to say diet, lifestyle change. I feel a whole lot more energy. So shout out to Lady Led. Um, that's Led Farmer 73's wife. She has been excellent with helping um, those who really want to stop saying they're going to change and actually change make a what change. they don't enjoy or like about um, how they're living. <laughs> now, I was the first day, I, the morning I did the, it's like a shake, not really a shake, but a green smoothie. And I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I actually enjoyed a green smoothie. Um, it's no bananas, no, no fruit, because fruit has sugars. And so I'm trying to limit and, or just cut out completely the sugars um, and cut down on the carbs. So I did that smoothie and then I had um, one fourth a cup of pecans for a snack. And when I did my lunch, I had um, some leafy green vegetables and which, which was baby spinach. And I chopped up some onions, I put some mushrooms in it, and I, I put one fourth cup of Italian dressing, the regular original one. And that's it. I didn't do my usual where I got to have the crunchy onion things. I wanted them, but I loaded my salad up with onions because I have to have that crunch. And so, um, might not be the best thing if your spouse or significant other is there with you. Mine is on the road, so ain't nobody in my face like that. And um, my dinner was four to eight ounces of baked chicken. So I got a rotisserie chicken. 
I did eat a little more than the eight ounces, I'm sure. But I had that and I sauteed some okra and my daughter had the baked chicken with, uh, what, broccoli? And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, I will admit it is 11.10. Why is, uh, I don't want to end my workout. What is it doing? See, that's why I put my other one on because I don't know what that thing did. Um, I'm a little hungry at 11, 10. I'm doing the same thing. It says day one through three to do the, the meal that I just said, the plan. But in actuality, you need to do it for two weeks to see the best results. And then once you hit that 10th day, you can move on to um, a different meal plan. So that's what I'm gonna do and have any kind of time limit, like, oh, I need to lose this by uh, two, three months from now, because that's setting myself up for failure, like I've done in the past. So, I say nine months to a year, I should be, if I continue, where I, where I want to be as my goal weight and um, feeling better about myself, hopefully. Um, not having to wear baggy clothes. Not having to put a little shawl jacket on, you know, something thin though, cause it's hot out here. Just try to cover up these um, rolls on my stomach and my back. Cause I, you know, I didn't like what I see, what I saw when I looked in the mirror. I didn't, so this ain't about um, doing something for someone else. I think it's more about doing it for me and finding my happiness with myself instead of trying to uh, have someone else make me happy. Yeah, I know that kind of sounds like I'm talking about some Will and Jada stuff, but that part of that statement that he said was true you have to make yourself happy. You can't put all your energy into what can this person do to make me happy. We both need to be with our cups full and not half full with our hands out. That way we can love better and everything else that goes along with that. So I'm out here on this walk and I'm pretty sure I'm breathing hard, but that's okay. I'm gonna walk it, um, and I'm gonna enjoy the scenery. So I hope that y'all are taking care of yourself, that you're not just out going any and everywhere because I, it's like I'm always, oh, I gotta go to the store. I gotta stop that. So this week I said, because I did my shopping on the weekend, I said, I am not going in any store. I don't care what I need. I'm not going in that store until Sunday and make that my day. And what happens, my mom called me yesterday she's like you coming over to bring my clothes because you know i've been washing her clothes for her since she got out of the hospital from breaking her hip and i said yeah she was like well i need to go to the store i said no you don't because see we try to make sure she got stuff in the house but she if, if something pop in her head this ain't like back before covid you know oh i need this let me just run and get it you gotta be methodical in planning what you're gonna do, when you're gonna do it. Because my husband's like, I'm out here working, so you don't have to be out here with these people that don't wanna cover up, don't wanna, that wanna stand in your space, even if they have a mask on, 
they all in your grill so close to you like they came in the store with you so I decided I'm gonna stop being hard here and I'm gonna listen because I like to breathe even though I'm breathing hard while I'm walking I like to breathe and watching them people on ventilators or even the ones not on ventilators trying to catch their breath mm -mm. ain't nothing cute sex about that honey and then you're gonna be there by yourself because ain't no family coming in to see you so again y'all take care of yourselves remember that God loves you well remember I love you but God loves you more he created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are that person, you can then go out and spread God's love. But in this COVID area, spread the love with distance. That's showing your love. By staying six to 12 feet apart from somebody, that's saying, hey, I love you. I don't wanna hurt you. I don't want you to hurt me. And go on about your day. So y'all take care and have a very blessed day. Spooches.